Okay, so since we did a Westie the other day, I have another one in today. And I thought that it might be interesting to see uh, the difference between that one and this one. This one has a way longer cut, but what I wanted to point out was this is the same cut. I don't want you to get overwhelmed with so much more hair and not recognizing the same cut in a different length. Um, head's the same, ears the same, but this dog, it's a way longer cut on the legs and the back. So we still have our line we're gonna come down to and leave our skirt, but this is just way longer. So I thought also what I could do is kind of go through some combing out techniques. I always wanna comb through this before um, I cut. And um, so uh, that we get a nice cut. And this would be also something that would be um, included with the bathing, this part of the process um, of learning. So I always start on the same leg and go around so that I know where I'm at on my brushing. I always start at the bottom of the foot. I'm going to use the wide tooth comb to get through um, easier when it's, you know, still kind of rough and not brushed out smoothly. Um, I want to make sure and go clear to the skin. Um, I can also separate this hair. I can see down to the skin and um, see, uh, make sure that I'm getting all the way down in there. So with these teeth, I know that I can feel the skin. I'm gonna go from the ends out. So once I get this leg all done, I'm going to move, move on. And of course, going into the inside of the leg in here, and I'm feeling with this hand, feeling in there, seeing it kind of as a guide, where, where you can't see, you can feel. I, I could feel here if there was a mat. You can see there's a little mat here. This is kind of a sensitive area. I could take my thinners and thin that so that it'll come out. And as you can see, I'm holding this. So when I pull to get that out, which that one is a tough one, it's not going to hurt the dog. And you might thin that one a little bit more so it came out easier. Again, I'm going to make sure my comb is going clear to the skin. And another thing that I do is um, sometimes I'll hold my finger across the hair so when I'm pulling, it's not pulling as hard too. A little trick that I do, as opposed to maybe holding it like this and pulling, just lay my thumb on there and hold that so that when I do pull this way, it's not pulling so hard on the dog. And then of course I want to check my armpits and if there's any bad ones in the armpits, I'm going to cut them out. Now, I can feel that there's a mat in there just by my hand. I can't see it, but I can feel that hair knotted up. Take my thinners and I can get in there and thin it. There was that chunk of hair that I could feel. I couldn't actually see what I was doing, but I could feel. And this is something that'll come, but um, a lot of grooming is feel too. Feeling for that skin and feeling for the tangles. So I'll just go around and continue to comb through all this. And um, again, I like to use a little spray. This is a conditioning um, leave-in. So I'll put a little of that on, control my static. Um, but anyway, I just wanted you to see this, this um, dog in a different length. Um, I won't go into the cut today, um, but just so you can see those differences.